I'm Kimberly Kaplan. I'm a startup advisor and angel investor in BC. When I was growing up, I think I started my first business when I was three. My sister and I painted rocks gold and sold them on the side of the road. And then we started selling lemonade on the side of the road. And I think back to those moments and I might not have ever realized it, but I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. So having spent 10 years at Plenty of Fish, we grew it from 10 million to over 100 million in revenue. We got acquired by Match.com, we went public, and there was an opportunity to learn and grow. I constantly said yes. It didn't matter whether or not you actually knew what you were doing, you would just say yes and you'd figure it out. We haven't had that kind of anchor company in Vancouver that has really spun off a lot of talent, and that talent hasn't been able to give back to our ecosystem. So I'm one of many, but I'm hoping I can inspire more people to do this exact same thing and try to figure out ways to help these 10-person startups, these million-dollar companies become hundred-million-dollar companies and find their own exits. My name is Thomas Ligotsky and I'm president and CEO of Clevis Solutions. Clevis Solutions provides mobile workforce management for utilities. We help to automate and keep safe the workers in the field. I was nominated by my team and I just want to say a heartfelt thank you. Part of our hiring practices, one of the changes that our human resources department made together with the management team is to include and focus on hiring more women and uh, increase diversity that way. And we've achieved that by having 40% of new hires into the high tech sector being women. I would summarize my leadership style in three ways, collaboration, innovation, and doggy determination. I was born in Czechoslovakia, which was at that time communist, and I was uh, blessed that my parents took it upon themselves to take the risk and uh, to allow themselves to lose everything to the communists and come to a new country that welcomed us and created new opportunities, it gave us the opportunity to innovate and create, and uh, I feel very happy in my new home. My name is Greg Malpass. I'm a number of things. I am a husband, I have a great wife and partner, uh, I have three young children, and I've also been lucky enough to be involved in starting, building several software and software services companies. And I aspire to be somebody who is consistent uh, in their personal lives and their professional lives. I really want to be someone who enables others. And I do see leadership is, is following. So I really aspire to, to bring out the best and, and help people discover what, what their potential is. I'm obsessive uh, when it comes to looking for improvement improvement and new ways and new approaches and rethinks and kind of this notion of always improving, never satisfied. So it's difficult for me to completely own this notion of success because I think it's just a lifelong journey. We've accomplished a goal and we've accomplished what we set out to do at a stage, but the beauty of life is it's always evolving and changing and I'm fully subscribed to that. My name is Lisa Shields. I live here in Vancouver and I've spent the last 20 years building technology companies. First company that I found is a company called HyperWallet, which is a payments technology company that services corporates and competes against banks and is very global in nature. And instead of competing against banks, my second company is designed to help them better serve their business customers. The greatest successes tended to be the ones when you're working through hard times with your team. So when I think about success, it's not something that happens overnight or over a period of two years or because you necessarily have perfect vision. The number one criterion of success is intestinal fortitude and the ability to just get up the next day and go back to work and think about moving the peanut forward a little bit. That may not be sexy, but that's the actual honest truth. If there's anything that's changed in the last 20 years, in technology in general, but specifically in this market in Vancouver, is the development of the ecosystem and the recognition that we're really not competing against each other, we really are building up the whole ecosystem.